Did I love The Burning God? Did I hate it? <laughs> so bright. <laughs> I'm so awake. <laughs> you are in this by yourself. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney, and today's video will be another 24 hour reading vlog. So earlier today, obviously right now it's what, 9.50, time check? Eight. 9.58 p.m. Originally, this video was going to just be like another reading vlog, like no time constraint or anything. So earlier today, I just started filming like random updates of the book that I had previously finished, which was Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. And then after uploading that footage to my iPad, I realized that like, I had never even introduced a vlog. I thought that I did. So basically all the footage I filmed today was pointless. So I decided because one, I'm behind on my reading for this month, we're not surprised. And two, all the work that I did today was for nothing. So why not fix both of those problems by forcing myself to read for 24 hours and starting over on a real vlog. So as you know, we are doing the 1000 Doors Readathon still. And earlier today, one of the things that I filmed was the footage of me opening up the next door. So I'm gonna cue that clip now of me picking the next book, aka the book that I will be reading in this 24 hours. You probably already know it from the title of the video, but here we go, we're gonna show you anyway. All right, so check in. It is Monday, November 23rd. It's been a while. <laughs> and I'm proud to announce that I finished Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood, my reread of it. Do you think that my feelings have changed at all on it? No, they've grown stronger. It is still a five out of five. I just, it's perfect. It's perfect. So, I mean, I have talked about this book so much on this channel already in the short time that I have existed here. So I won't do it too much more right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to watch the live show that we had over on Allie's page, I will link that down below. It was fun. It was me, Allie, Deja, and Molly. And it was great. It was a great time. I really loved talking with all of them. It, we had some pretty good discussions. We talked about some potential, like, theories for the next book. And there are a couple theories that, like, if they happen, my world is made. Regardless though, I absolutely love this book. I don't know what else to tell you about it. It's perfect and five out of five, I'd give it more if I could. Now, that means I have to go back to Meg's page and go to the end of the last video to click on the answer to the question to get my next prompt. Let me put this down. I guess I'm no longer talking about Crescent City. Did I guess where it was going? It's a reread for me. So like, yeah, I knew where it was going, but I didn't mind. I mean, I have to go with yes, but I didn't mind because I did it. <laughs> oh, hold on. They're a great decision add. for Snapchat. No, Tyson is not a great decision. They do not treat their animals well. Keep it well. real. Keep it real? Tyson is not real. Okay. Whatever. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see who I got. It's Despite Tasman. the fact that you kind of saw where the last book was going, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I did. hope you're having a great time so far. I, I certainly am. Remember that we're doing Twitter sprints and live shows all the time. My third prompt for you is a book that feels like Marvel. Now you could interpret this as the MCU, you could interpret it as the comics, you could take a character that you really like or a character that you dislike, a certain character trait, for example, I big time relate. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I have never really been into like Marvel. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry if that upsets you. Um, hold on, I need to go back to that picture because I know that there's like different subgenres of this like realm of everything. So I need to know if the superheroes that I'm thinking of are part of Marvel. Oh boy. Oh wait, Iron Man is front and center. It's okay, I'm doing really well. So I really like Iron Man, right? I love Iron Man. Uh, mostly because of Robert Downey Jr. Am I wrong? No. Um, is Wolverine Marvel or is he DC? I don't know how this stuff works. Yeah, Marvel. Okay, so I really like Wolverine, Iron Man, I saw Green Lantern, didn't hate it, and I mean Spider-Man, yeah, sure, I mean like, the classics, you know? Iron Man and Wolverine are my dudes. Now how am I gonna relate this to a book? I think I've done it. <laughs> I think that I've cracked the code. Okay. This is okay. Everything's fine. Some of you might think that this is a stretch, but I see it. I see it happening. I see it intertwining and I'm going for it. I'm making it work. So for this prompt, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to read Burning God by R.F. Kuang because one, 
I just got it in the mail last week and I'm dying to read it. I need to see how this story ends. I'm not ready for it to destroy my life. And I mean, Rin, our main character, if being described in another way, could be construed as a superhero. She's a shaman, you know, like she's not like a superhero, but like she has superhero powers, you know? Absolutely. That works. Okay, I was really nervous for a second because I've watched some Thousand Door Readathon vlogs and I've seen this prompt come up and I was like, man, I hope I don't get that prompt because I don't really like superhero stuff, you know? Like, I don't know. It's just not like the first thing that I ever want to reach for. Oh wait, what was that other? The Iron Fist? Yeah, The Iron Fist I watched on Netflix. It was really good. I loved that series. Okay, so maybe, maybe I'm more of a superhero fan than I originally thought. But regardless, when I saw this come up, I was very nervous. <laughs> but it ends up looking like it's gonna work just fine. So basically, I will be reading The Burning God here in the next 24 hours. Hopefully, I finish it. I used an Audible credit, so I also have the audiobook for it. So I think that there is a good chance that I could do it as long as I stay focused. And that's a problem for me. So we'll see how it goes. But that is the potential plan, is to pick up and finish this bad boy in this vlog. Another book that I have been reading that I might pick up in the next 24 hours if I do need a little break from The Burning God is I have been reading Ilatsoe, which I have been calling it Ilatso because that's how I thought it was pronounced, but apparently it is Ilatsoe. So we're doing really well and it is going really well. I really am enjoying it. I don't know if you can tell, I am about 60, 65, 70% of the way through. I've read about 150 pages today and it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, this I am reading for Indigathon in the month of November, but for right now, I am just going to pop open this energy drink right now and start to drink it because I'm tired already. Because last night I only got five hours of sleep and we're all about health and wellness here, friends. So let's just stay awake for 24 more hours. Mmm, wanna try it? You haven't tried this one. It's a different flavor. You're gonna stay up with me? Oh, you're so wired. You're so wired. <laughs> 200 milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> These pretzels ain't the only thing getting twisted. <laughs> Hi, time check. It's been 12 hours. It is 11 a.m. and I am on page 241. So I kept getting distracted last night. This is just how it goes. It's hard to sit and read for hours on end when it's like an adult book, you know? It's pretty dense. It is not light and breezy, if you know what I'm saying. Besides that, I am really enjoying The Burning God. This book, I don't know why, it has made me appreciate the first book, The Poppy War, more than I had previously. Uh, I am blurry. So we know that I gave The Poppy War like a 4 out of 5, and then I gave The Dragon Republic a 5 out of 5. And now, for whatever reason, this book is making me think about the first book and really appreciating like 
everything that has happened and everything that R.F. Kuang did in the first book to like set the stage and like, I don't know, I'm just like feeling things right now. And I'm not doing spoilers at all, but I am missing a lot of characters in this book. Um, I'm missing some of the banter that I fell in love with throughout the, really the Dragon Republic, but also in the Poppy War. Um, obviously there is still banter, and some banter is actually starting to pick up between some characters, you know, like the, the comedic relief, those types of things. But the story itself is going in a really interesting way, and I'm just really enjoying it. So I'm listening to it on Audible, and it says that I have about six hours left of it. And it is 11 a.m. 11 11, in fact. I wish that I finished The Burning God today. So, but that's the plan. The plan is to finish it today, and I think that that's possible. Um, I was going to also take time to film some videos today, but it is super gross outside. I feel super gross. So, like, I think that I'm just gonna, like, stay like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. Um, I might do some live reading sprints later today on my channel. But other than that, we're just gonna finish The Burning God today. That's where I'm at right now, so let's just like start making that happen, right? I'm gonna go read now. So time check, it is almost 2 p.m. I realized that my first clip of today, I didn't really like talk about anything that happened last night. Can we talk about the fact that my smoke alarm went off at around 12.30 in the middle of the night? Um, so that like aesthetic match lighting candle thing, yeah, wasn't worth it. Um, and furthermore, right now in about 10 minutes, I am going to go live on my channel and do some live reading sprints. But as it turns out, Caleb came home from work and he's just like not feeling too hot today. So he is taking a nap right now. But before I go down to start the reading sprints, I did want to do a check-in for the Burning God. I am on page 345. So I am definitely like halfway at least, a little over halfway actually and still really good. You can see all of the orange tabs I have started putting in there because orange is my color for either like, it's like a caution color for me, you know? It's either like, damn, that's messed up or like something made me angry. It's either one of the two. Um, and all of these are, damn, that's messed up. <laughs> So currently having a lot of like mental imagery going on in my head, but regardless, the story is definitely, you know, really good, really well structured. And I'm just looking forward to seeing how it ends up. So we are going to go get set up for the live show. Oh, obviously, you, we, we already know what I'm about to say now. I ordered sushi, so the food should be here soon. So I will be eating sushi and doing some live sprints. Time check, it is 6 p.m. I am currently on page 468. So according to the audiobook, I only have like two hours left if I listen to it at the speed that I'm at. Um, so give or take, I'm gonna say a little over two hours. Last time I checked in, it was right before the live show. So the live show went really well. There was like a little over 30 people who showed up. So that was really cool. It was a lot of fun. And the pages that I read during the live show there were a lot of things happening. So there were some characters that like came back from past books into this book and I was just living for it. I was very surprised. I was not expecting it at all, even though like I probably should have been. And just the development of the war itself, everything is just really crazy. And it is brutal and political and intriguing. Just everything about this book is very captivating to say the least. That's where we're at right now. Like I said, it's 6 p.m., so a little over two hours left of this book if I keep reading it at the pace that I'm at, so I should. I'm on track to finishing it before 11 p.m. for sure, because obviously we will have to eat dinner at some point. Uh, we'll figure that out, but it's looking like I should be able to finish this, and that's really exciting.
I am. You're not crying. No. And a little bit of the pumpkin pie. We make a pumpkin sausage and apple and panada with a sour gummy Mexican crema. <laughs> Time check, I guess. Um, just so everyone knows, it is six minutes till 11. And I just finished Dragon Republic. No, I didn't. It's Burning God. I finished The Burning God. So yeah, cool. I finished it in 24 hours. Super cool. Love that for me. Um, it's 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Can I not do... Oh, I read it. Okay, because it's like backwards on the thing. Mm -hmm. It's 45, oh. not 54. So I finished with 15 minutes to spare. Whatever, I did it, okay? I'm not ready to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know if I hated that ending or not. Did I hate it? I genuinely don't know. I'm not in the right headspace to give you any sort of content that will be worth your while. I will probably just come back tomorrow once I've slept on these emotions that I'm feeling to close out this vlog because I don't know. Okay, hi, it is the next day and I have gathered some thoughts. So I'm going to share some thoughts with you on the burning God, right? All right, so let's get started. My immediate feelings after finishing the book, as you saw a couple seconds ago, were, were mixed, they were mixed. And here's the thing, let me explain myself. Did I love the burning God? Yes. Did I love the ending of The Burning God? I don't know. <laughs> so the ending. It is logistically exactly how it should end. There, I, I wouldn't change the ending in a sense of how the story, like, in real life should go. You know, like, it ended exactly how it should have. I don't know. I was expecting kind of like a climax ending. Do you know what I mean? Like a, I mean, the ending was a big deal, you know, like it, it was a big deal, but I was expecting like emotions. I was expecting myself to feel distraught or sad. I never, like by no means, I did not expect a happy ending at all. I did not think that it was going to be a happy story. Just, I don't know. I was expecting like a Boom, like heart-wrenching plot twist ending, I guess is what I was trying to say, possibly. So like, even though it wasn't exactly what I was expecting for the ending, like, yeah, I still, I still love the book, you know? Hi, editing Sydney here. So I feel like me trying to explain the ending of this book is not going well. I was very emotional, apparently. Lack of sleep and I don't know whatever else was happening. I just reread the last like 30 pages of The Burning God and I think I was just being dramatic, honestly, because it's a really good ending. Like I'm keeping all of that before stuff in just because like that's literally, that's how I felt when I first finished it, you know? Like I can't take it out and like lie and say that like I loved it because at the moment I didn't, <laughs> I didn't at all. I think that what happened was I was expecting to feel so much emotion that I was going to like sob or something. So when I wasn't crying, I was just focused on the fact that like I'm not crying, so like, what is happening? What is, what am I even reading, you know? Going in with standards or expectations is never good in a book and I just need to not do that anymore because I just reread it, like I said, and it's such a good ending. It is such a good book, such a good series. I'm gonna cry right now, what is happening? <laughs> but yeah, so if you are still making it here this far, thank you. <laughs> because this is always a mess. We love it here. And yeah, I mean, I'll let myself ramble on a little bit longer because I, I try to explain something else about the series as a whole. And yeah, I mean, that's all that editing Sydney has for you right now. We will just leave it at this, <laughs> but finish the video because I think that I have some more important things to say than what I've been trying to say. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm gonna try to explain something about the Poppy War for me. So the pacing of this whole entire series for me was like really similar throughout all three books. So it was a, while reading all three of these, it kind of felt like a constant level of fear, intenseness, and anxiety <laughs> with little bursts of like sadness, grief, and like action, you know, like, cause it's a war movie. So we get like battle scenes and stuff. So it was never slow. Like, you know, it was like, if, if it was a level, right? It was like, slows here, 
interested is here, above interested, it was just like fluctuating, like con consistently. It never went below interested. I was never bored. I, my interest was either heightened or I was just like still really into it and waiting to see what was gonna happen next because this series was wild. Kwong's writing is just so good and that was partly how like my interest never went below interested. You know, I don't know what this analogy was. I don't know, it made, made sense to me so we're just gonna go with it. At the end of the Dragon Republic I was really concerned as to how the Burning God was gonna go because um, we lost some characters. If you've read it you know and I was really nervous as to how this book was gonna go without having them. But it made up for it because it brought back other characters and I just love that so much. And yeah, I, I'm giving this definitely five out of five. I, I can't give it any, any less than that because it is just such a strong book. Yeah, so that's it. That's, that's the video. I read The Burning God in 24 hours, so... Yeah, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video. I appreciate your support, and as always, be kind to one another and happy reading. Mm -hmm.